So from this video, you can see what I would call a very, very happy pangolin. This is one of the pangolins that we got in that fairly recently that was really, really bad shape. And uh, through the devoted care of, uh, of all the staff here, uh, we got it to this stage here now where it was eating freely and a lot of energy, climbing all over the anteat, eating. Uh, and it's this day, at this stage that you want to, to release the animal. Uh, fit it with a tracking device and let it go. So this is what we are aiming at to get the animal in this sort of condition uh, before actually letting it go. Natural recumbency is preferred as the blood pressure drops significantly in dorsal recumbency. So the position is changed as soon as one has completed all these procedures. So a lot of the procedures require the animal to lie on its back, um, you know, including drips, uh, blood sampling um, and feeding. But as soon as the procedures are stopped, the animal is immediately put onto its side. I mentioned earlier a little bit about babesiosis. Um, it seems to be every single one. I don't know, are you guys familiar with the babesia parasite, babesiosis? Okay, it's an intracellular, in, intra uh, red blood cell parasite. I suppose almost like malaria in a way, it's, it's transmitted by ticks. 